The Israeli army spokesman announced earlier today that the Israeli army is fully prepared for a ground invasion of Gaza. Throughout the past nine days, there has been fears of this war becoming a regional war with more parties to be involved. Across the West Bank, there are widespread calls for demonstrations against Israeli forces and their settlers' violence and the rising death toll. Here I'm in a train station in Israel. A lot of trains in the country have been cancelled since the outbreak of this round of large-scale Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Sunday marked its ninth day and witnessed heavy exchange of fire in the north. Rockets and an anti-tank missile were fired from Lebanon toward Israel, followed by Israeli strikes. Egypt has offered to host a multilateral meeting to discuss the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas. Egypt is ready to exert any effort to achieve calm in Gaza and start a genuine peace process, the Egyptian presidency said in a statement on Sunday. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman met with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken to discuss the situation in Gaza. The Saudi Crown Prince emphasized the need to halt military operations and called for lifting the siege on Gaza to ensure the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. Iranian Foreign Minister warned that an Israeli ground offensive in Gaza could lead to a broader conflict in the Middle East. During his talk with Qatar's Emir, the Iranian diplomat also urged the halt of attacks on civilians. As tension between Israel and Hezbollah escalates, Israel's defense minister stated on Sunday that Israel has no interest in war on its northern front and would maintain the situation if Hezbollah shows restraint.